The Greater New Bedford Community Health Center monthly video series is brought to you by Senior Whole Health, a health plan for seniors that have both Medicare and Mass Health coverage. Online at seniorwholehealth.com. Welcome to the Greater New Bedford Community Health Center. We will be presenting a series of seminars which we hope will inform the community and our staff about the benefits which are available to the people that we serve. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to introduce Terry Larson, who's been, uh, besides being the COO of Coastline, is uh, a very, very good friend of all the elderly in New Bedford. I know Terry going way back when you were with Peabody, and she's just been great for the city of New Bedford, and um, it's an honor to have her come and speak to our group. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Peter. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here. Um, before I do my presentation, I'm going to talk to you about the programs that we have at Coastline. And I know there's so many programs. If there's any questions, just raise your hand and I'll stop it. Because it's, by the end of the presentation, we forget what program we're talking about. We're a AAA agency, which is an area agency on aging. That's our AAA portion of it. Established by the Old Americans Act. Coastline is one of 629 national area AAAs. AAAs were created to administrate programs for older adults and their caregivers. Coastline is partially funded by federal government through the Administrative Aging and Executive Office of Elder Affairs. Coastline also receives Title III funds that were administrated to local councils on aging and other organizations to provide additional services and programs. Aging Service Access Point is what we call an ASAP. So when you hear me say an ASAP, that's what it means. ASAPs were created by the state law passed in 1996. Coastline is one of 27 ASAPs in Massachusetts. The purpose of the ASAP is to ensure quality insurance and accountability in programming and delivery to services to elders. Coastline's mission, to provide service and programs that help other adults, individuals with disabilities, and their caregivers continue living in their own home for as long as possible. I think we all deserve that, don't you think so? How do we do this? Access each individual care needs, create a care plan for them, enroll them in programs and services that meet their individual needs, when someone has any questions, they call our information and referral center, and we have intake workers there that speak different languages and are able to help anyone with any questions. And I always tell people, always call, because if we can't help you, we'll put you in the right direction to where you need your services. Our INR specialists screen phone calls and walk-ins to learn their age, their residence, their income, and their needs. Based on this information, the intake and referrals each individual to the program and services that are needed both eligible and for they meet their needs. R&R specialists do their best to refer individuals who are not eligible for any other programs to other agencies. We refer many, many of our consumers here to the New Bedford Health Center. They are a great partner with us. Coastline has two largest programs, the home care program, the home care program is we visit elders in their home and together and create a care plan. The elder has access to multiple services and programs that allow them to continue living in their own homes. We work with contracted providers, determine the cost, and then continue to monitor the elder's care on a regular basis to ensure quality. Our next large program is elder nutrition. We have seven drivers deliver 1,050 meal hot lunches every weekday. Upon delivery, all deliveries are trained to provide as well be in check. So if someone's not there, we knock at the door, we wanna make sure that someone's not on the floor or something happened to them. So it's not just a meal, one meal, it's also a safety check. A lot of them don't see any family members, they don't see anybody except us. 
We also provide a hot lunch in social settings at 14 meal sites located throughout our service area. Coastline's programs continue. We have congregate and supportive housing. Our congregate and supportive housing are two sites that we have. We have Trip Towers in New Bedford, we have Edison Way in Dartmouth, and we have the Grinnell on County Street. And these are sites that we have social workers there um, for the day, and there's a home health day 24 seven on duty. If any of the elders for any reason need anything, we'll be there to assist them. We have a community mean stream. A community mean stream is, is um, a great program. These are for homebound elders who are not able to leave the home. We have someone who goes to their home with a computer and they'll enter their financials, everything. And then what the computer does, it creates all these um, programs that that person is eligible, maybe for PACE, you know, food stamps, um, Medicaid, and then we help them, that elder, fill those forms so they can get those programs. Money management program. Money management program is um, used a lot for protective service, but also for elders who are not able to do their own financial needs. We have volunteers that are trained, that go through the training, that go to elders at once a month, and they will go through all their mail, and they help them get the junk mail, the scams mail, so that nobody pays money that they don't need, and they will help them build a budget and help them pay their bills so they can get back into track. Our foster grandparent program, I love this program. This is a program that we help elders who um, can go give them a little bit of stipend every week so that they can go get out of the house for socialization and what they do, they go into schools to help teachers with one-on-one -on -one on kids, they go to nursery schools, daycares, and these help they like they call them their grandpa and grandma because these are the kids that need a little tender loving care or need a little bit more outreach or need a little bit more help they will go to them to assist them our senior community service employment program our senior program is for anybody who's 55 and older who is unemployed and needs a new skill and what happens is we take these people we bring them in we teach them how to do a resume we help them go through some career opportunities, and then we look for jobs for them in the community. We give them to um, other agencies at nonprofit organization for a couple of years to see if they like working with them and hope that they will hire them. Through these two programs, we have 160 seniors earning a modest income, learning new skills, and remaining active in the community. Senior care options. Senior care options is we do right now is this we do senior whole health is one of our biggest senior care options and consumers get to choose um, different a different type of insurance and when you have the senior care options program it's a great program because they are able to pay for their medications they are able to assist them with more things that maybe none of us could do right now so we work with senior whole health and they've been a great aspect to our elders in the community. Personal care program. Our personal care program is for programs for people who are able to hire their own help. What do I mean by that? Okay, if I have my mother or someone that I know that needs help, but they're able to manage their own help, they're able to hire who they want, whether it's a sibling, a family member, or a friend, to help them remain in their home. So a lot of times we know that families sometimes have to leave their work to go help their family members, but they're not able to because of economic times. So this is a great program that helps that. With that program, we also do um, young children, anybody that is young who has a disability that we um, do this program. A lot of times it's the parents, the mom who take, stays home to take care of that program. Nursing home ombudsman. We have a director who goes with uh, six volunteers, and then we do all the local nursing home and budsmen. For th those are for people who have complaints in the nursing homes. So they go in there and they go to screen to see if there's an issue in the nursing home, and then she does the investigation and reports it to the Department of Public Health in Boston. It's a great program. Caregiver support program. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Service, one out of every four people is a caregiver for a family. Very important program. 
because the caregivers start neglecting their own care to take care of their loved ones. So we have a caregiver program that assists, we have our caregiver group support groups, and we also assist with education, and we also help them with respite. For some reason, if they need to get away for a little while, we'll support that family with a respite. For some reason, if it makes it um, easier, you know, that it, I'll give you an example. We got one the other day, the lady was so stressed, she, um, her, wa her mother is incontinent, they have a washing machine, she had to quit her job, and they're barely making to take care of this, um, her mom, and their washing machine broke, and she couldn't afford the washing machine, and going to the laundromat, she couldn't leave her mother alone, she was getting so stressed out, that almost put herself in a nervous breakdown, that we tied her to go to a uh, hospital. We bought her a, a washing machine. It's the little things like that that can help an elder or a caregiver be a little bit more better to the elder. Options counseling. I'm so excited about this program. It's a new program that we just got, options counseling. Options counseling is for anybody, anybody. Doesn't matter financially, occupation, anything. But you can call us and we will send someone to go to your home and talk to you about all your options that there is. Maybe you don't need it today, but maybe you're gonna have, you know, maybe I'm gonna go for hip replacement six months from now and I don't know anything. Which rehab I wanna go? Do I want to come home? Do I get services at home? What am I qualified for? What do you have out there? This person would go in there and help them, give them all these answers and help them with different options out in the community and help them through that process. All the Title III programs are local counseling on aging. So all Title III programs that we have that we talked about is we, um, Coastline gives some monies to other agencies like the Council on Aging for social daycare, we, um, we help with transportation. One of the biggest things that I don't know if, um, was last week, there was a big press release here in New Bedford for transportation. Transportation is a big need for our, our elders in the community because they either don't have family members or the Serta bus doesn't able to come where they are. And if there is, I've had elders tell me, Terry, you don't understand how hard it is for me to walk two blocks. Just walking in the pavement is, is hurting my my body already can't take it. Then I don't know if that bus is going to take me to my doctor, I'm afraid. And then when I get to the doc, when I get there, I still got to walk two or three blocks to get to the doctor's office. And uh, sometimes I'm afraid to be in the bus because the people there look scary. Not that they're going to do anything to me, but I'm afraid. So it's a big thing with, you know, transportation and going, um, going that way. So we do a lot of transportation for our elders. Um, and I was at the press conference last week and I was talking about this and they said, well, it's economics, it's economics. But let's think about this. If you have an elder who can't go to a doctor's office or can't come to the Bedford Health Center for transportation, whatever reason it may be, they get sicker and sicker and sicker. What happens? They eventually end up calling 911. They go to an ambulance. The ambulance takes them to the hospital. Now you're talking with three, what, three to $400 for an ambulance to pick you up. And then you're talking about two or three nights because you're probably dehydrated, you're probably really sick at the hospital. Now you're talking about five, six thousand dollars that they're gonna have to pay. Why not pay ten, twelve dollars to get that person to go to the hospital to the doctor's appointment? See, it just kind of roll balls as we go along how these programs are so important to our elders in the community. This past year has been challenging for us, as we know we have more challenges ahead. And according to AARP, today 8,000 people will turn 65 years old. And for the next 18 years, every day, 8,000 more people will turn 65. Any questions? That's a big number, 8,000 people every day. Yes? On that uh, caregiver support program, is that just for the elderly? It's for the caregivers. So if a person has a child that's disabled, could you also help them? Yes. And usually we, we would, if nobody has um, someone to stay with that person at home to go to the supported caregiver pro, um, support group, we will pay for someone to stay with that person so that the caregiver can go to the support group. Because we want, we want to be able for the caregivers to get out and be able to meet other peers who are going through the same thing. And I, I try to go one, occasionally, I try to go once or twice a year, and it's an amazing group. They all help each other, they give ideas, suggestions, but it's a great program. I 
know that some people need homemaking, and a lot of times is budgetary constraints, and I'm wondering how, you know, what the waiting list is at this point and how things are going. Okay, right now we do not have a waiting list. Um, there was one last year that was for about two to three months. You're absolutely right. But we do not have a waiting list right now. So if you know anybody, just enroll them now. Um, I'm pretty sure we're around towards next year when the budgets get a little bit closer, the waiting list comes out. But please I know that fluctuates. Yeah, if you know anybody, definitely um, give them a call. And these are tough times because you come to the time now that it's cold out. People are going to need fuel assistance. You know what I mean? We, we, you know, it's a tough time. And we also have a lot of programs just to let you know that we try to raise money so that we can give money for those people who, quote, sometimes don't fit into it. So sometimes we have people who have no medication and there's no way to get monies for them. And it's, we pay for it sometimes. Um, sometimes, you know, there's a shut off and they're not going to have any heat for whatever reason it is. We try to help them as a one time only. We can't do it constantly, but we'll try to help them as a one time only. Um, we, our goal is to try to keep this elder at home as long as we can, but also give them the quality of life that they choose. Nobody deserves to not be in their home if they want to be home. And that's something that I'm really proud and working at Coastline. And I know that's what Peter and I have a lot in common because we want them to be home and live the quality of life they choose. And there's so many programs out there. We just need to call. Call. Call our office. And if we can't help you, we, we have a person who just, all she does is advocacy. She will get you the help. She will tell you where to go. And she'll, you know, make appointments for you, and she'll make it work. But I just tell people, please give us a call. Any other questions? I guess not. Well, thank you. I just want to say that this is a wonderful, wonderful program for the elderly. I mean, I, I know that we all, uh, and if we haven't, we will have loved ones, ourselves, our family, that have to go through programs like this. And is, isn't it, I mean, I, I went through a period of my life where I had to take, was a caretaker for an elderly dad. And when I look at programs like this that are available, it's really heartening that we're taking care of our elderly so well. And the New Bedford coastline is just absolutely marvelous. I wish to God that I had the opportunity to take care of my father through these services that are available. But uh, certainly I'm sure he's looking down and smiling that these are available for others. So thank you very much. Thank you, Peter.